Hey there, this is Lori from Ride Chair Silver doing another quick video to show you how to use your Lyft driver app. So let's get right to it. On the left, you're gonna see a face, that's mine, but if you, it's gonna be yours. So tap on the face icon and uh, let's first go to Dashboard. Dashboard signs you right into Lyft and it's gonna give you a lot of information. Um, it's basically gonna be a summary of your uh, your your earnings for the week and your stats and a little bit more information. So here are my zero earnings for today and and swiping my zero for the week because I have not driven this week. It's been lazy and I've uh, been enjoying the holidays. This is also going to show you your stats, my acceptance rate, my rating as a driver, and my lifetime rides. Down here, if I had made anything, this is where you can get paid. You can just tap the get paid if you have five dollars or more and it ends up in your bank. It takes mine about 15 minutes from the time I tap the button, um, so it doesn't take that long. Another very important if you want to maximize your earnings is the power zone um, that Lyft offers. So here we go. These are the power zones for the week. So basically if you scroll here you're going to see the days and locations of where there's surge pricing power zones. Um, let's look at New Year's Eve because that's going to be crazy. So from New Year's Eve, uh, 12 a.m. to 2 a.m., surge pricing is going to be 200 to 220% in this area in the Portland area. So great time to get out there and earn some money. Another way to earn is the weekly power driver bonus. So basically, um, let's look at the $65 bonus for the week. The total rides, uh, 50 rides are required. The peak rides, 25 rides are required, and then you have to accept 90% um, of the calls that you get. And you can make a lot more by these higher bonuses, but you have to do a lot more rides, and uh, so that would be more of a full-time job. Now, when they talk about peak rides and peak hours, this is what they mean. Um, peak hours are basically commuter hours, 7 to 9 a.m. in the mornings and then uh, five to seven in the evenings during the week, and then during the weekends at night, that is when you get your peak hours. So that's how you can make more money by driving in those peak hours. Okay, so let's back out of here. And we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna drop over to the upper right hand corner and this is what they call the destination mode, which is really a, a cool new thing that Lyft has done. Basically, if you are done driving for the day and you're heading home, you just tap destination mode and you tap your pin to your home location, drop it on your home location, and what it will do is it will allow you to only pick up passengers that are going along your route. So you can stay online, make money, passengers only on your route, and just be sure to get paid as you're commuting home, which is a really, really cute thing. And um, one other thing I did need to mention, let's go back over here, tap your face, scheduled pickups. This is a brand new thing for Lyft and I think we drivers really like it. So if you go in there and uh, you just refresh this, I was hoping there might be available pickup that we could look at, but there doesn't seem to be. Um, they go pretty quickly, but people can schedule their rides in advance and if you find them in time, you can grab them and, uh, and have them on your schedule. If I had one, um, they would be over in my pickups. And that way, in advance, you know uh, what you're gonna be doing, if you're gonna take somebody to the airport. Um, it's nice to know uh, where you're going and what you're doing in advance, if you like that kind of thing. So let's uh, go back over here. Um, this has a lot more information, help. Um, you can also customize your navigation if you want to go with the built-in Google Maps on Lyft or Google Maps or Waze, you can customize the navigation that you prefer. Okay, so let's go uh, down here at the bottom. If you hit home, you're going to go onto this main screen. Um, and if you hit earnings, this is where uh, it's going to show your earnings for the day and swipe over your earnings for the week. Once again, no driving for me. If I had money, I could also get paid here just by tapping the get paid, at least having, you know, $5. I've hardly been driving. This payout activity will show you my deposits in the last, you know, a uh, couple weeks. Like I said, hardly been driving at all, so there's not a whole lot of things going on in, over there. 
And this just kind of goes over again all the, the, the power drive bonuses and the power zones. So you can scroll through here and you can also look at your ride history here. Um, this earn 160 at the right hand corner. This is a way that you can email or text people to sign up to drive with you or to uh, sign up new passengers. So you can do that. So let's go back to our home screen and let's talk about surge pricing. This is where you're going to see up at the top the 25 to 100% prime time surge pricing. And um, all these areas that are lit up bright pink are surge pricing and surge price areas. That means there are more calls for rides, requests for rides, than there are drivers. So if you can get a ride in the surge area, that means you just increase your pricing. So, um, and the great thing is, is when you get the call, it'll actually tell you that it is a surge price and tell you how much the surge is. So you can accept it and know exactly that you've got surge pricing. One thing I would not suggest, however, so let's say you are over here in Lads Edition and you see that there's surge pricing way up here. Do not stampede to the surge pricing because that's what everybody else is going to be doing. And by the time you get there, it's probably going to be gone. So your best just to stay put unless, of course, you're, you know, a few blocks away, that's fine because um, they change very quickly and uh, you can waste a lot of time chasing a surge and uh, that's kind of a rookie mistake. So don't get into the habit of doing that because it's very frustrating. Um, so that is it. Uh, I think that is most of the information. If you, one other thing that can be very helpful, so let's go over, tap my face again, and you go into help. There is a ride walkthrough option where basically, let's take a look at that. It does a, a um, fake ride so you can see exactly how it works and what the screen looks like and sounds like when you get a request. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. Tap the screen. There we go. You have 15 seconds to decide if you're going to take that ride. You're going to get navigated to John. So normally as you drive you'll get this navigation but we're not driving anywhere. So I'm going to close this. So we're navigating all the way to John. He's very close. Once you hit uh, get to his house, you hit tap to arrive. Yes, I've arrived. This dings John and says, hey, your Lyft driver is here. And John has five minutes to get to your car before he starts getting charged. Anything after that five minutes, you start getting paid for your time. And if he's not there within that five minute window, um, you have the option to give him a call or text him and say, hey, I'm out here. If you don't hear back from him very quickly after that, you can cancel the ride and you will get a fee for the cancellation if John is not ready because Lyft does value your time. But John is ready to go and we just pick up John. So now this is going to navigate us exactly where John is going, step-by-step -step navigation. We're not doing that, of course, because we're not driving. And this is where we're going to drop him off. So let's say we drop him off. So hit that. We've dropped him off. We confirm that we've dropped him off. And this is going to tell you what your earnings are. And this is where you get a chance to rate John. Unless there's a problem, I always give our, our passengers a five-star rating. Usually they're lovely. It's not a problem. Um, most rides are quite pleasant. So five stars is great. So hit submit, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're going to close this, and they are going to try to put me online. They keep doing that. I do not want to be online. And as you just saw, you just tap the go online on the top, and that'll put you online. And, and when you're online, you just tap it again to go offline. That's the toggle switch. So basically, that is it. That That is how you use your app. You can go in there and play around on your own to find some more specific things, but those are the main things that are going to keep you and get you going quickly. Um, I'm going to include a link here. If you have not signed up to drive, you can sign up to drive. And if you use my promo code pink balloons, then you get a bonus if you do a certain amount of rides within a certain amount of times. And I get a little bit of a bonus if you finish those. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And I hope to see you all on the road.